Hi, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we'll be learning to make this really simple uh, sheep using gouache. So the first thing that I'm doing right now is making a very uh, rough sketch of the uh, sheep that I'm drawing. So when you're uh, drawing, make sure that you don't press your pencil too hard because uh, even though gouache is mostly translucent um, or I would actually more of being opaque, uh, sometimes the pencil marks will show through. So the first thing that I'm doing is picking out my colors. So I'm going to color the background. So the best part about gouache is um, the thickness of the paint. So sometimes depending on the kind of brand that you're using, um, uh, the thickness will vary. So you will uh, have to experiment a little bit to figure out what is a good consistency um, but just remember one thing that uh, if it's a little too thin um, and you are not happy with the uh, final effect that has come on it you just need to add one more layer on it and it'll all look uh, perfectly fine so I like it a little bit um, not too fine sometimes I just like experimenting so um, I go with different kinds of consistency so mine is a little uh, thinner than a toothpaste consistency that I've used and the paints that I've used is Brewster's gouache uh, these are uh, in terms of uh, less budget one of the best ones that I have seen out there um, if you want to get like a uh, really uh, professional range then you should get the Winston and Newton ones uh, otherwise if you're looking for something in the middle then you can get the uh, white knights ones so what I'm doing right now is just painting around the background and um, it's a lot of fun to paint this it's just so therapeutic to uh, pick out your beautiful colors and then make this um, you would have noticed that I've also used like white to mix with this yellow so in gouache what I like doing is mixing all of my colors with a little bit of white and it creates a very beautiful pastel range and uh, these kind of colors you can't really make with watercolors so I like um, to use gouache in that way Gosh also works a little bit like watercolors in this sense that it is water soluble so if you add another layer on top of it there is a very high chance that the bottom layer uh, will mix with it so you have to be slightly careful about it it's not as um, uh, fluid as watercolors but still you know there is a high possibility it's not as um, like acrylics where you know you, you just let the bottom layer dry and the top layer uh, you can add whatever you want so you can still go dark to light light to dark in gosh that's not a problem uh, so what I'm doing right now is um, mixing uh, my black with a, just a little bit of uh, white because I don't want it to be too stark black. Uh, this is also like a nice ivory black kind of a color that I'm creating. So I'm going to now do an outline for my shape and add in the details over here. I'm using a brush also because um, I think it's very good practice for me uh, to use brush in um, you know really tiny areas to give outlines and uh, it, it helps me to improve my consistency this is a brilliant way for you also to do that if you're a beginner if you're an intermediate level artist uh, you should always use your brush to create your lines if not you can always pick up your uh, pigment liners and then you can create uh, details the only thing um, I would tell you is if you're having multiple layers then your pigment liners might not really work very well in this case I've got absolutely no paint on um, the center part which is the sheep so in this case your pigment liners might still work because you haven't given a very thick um, layering of the colors so if you notice my background is like almost dry it's not completely dry like watercolors this is not going to merge uh, because I haven't added a lot of water in the yellow for the background which is why it's like very easy for me to work around with this and the entire thing is now popping out so I love um, doing in a nice black outline you could also do like a gray outline if you want to or you can just skip the outline completely and just add in details of the eyes so what I'm going to do right now is to create a pattern on the background uh, what happens in this case is it uplifts the entire painting and also um, avoids you know the naked eye to see the background in a very um, not a very smooth texture the background if you notice you can still see some amount of the uh, brush strokes this is also because i did not use a very thick layer of the background um, i used a slightly fluid layer um, or if you want to avoid that just give another coating of yellow on top of it or just use a thicker base um, and it'll be fine i like a little bit of texture so uh, hence i have gone ahead and given this and i've not added in a second layer on top of it Thank you. 
by the time this dries you will notice that the um, pattern that I'm creating right now with white will dry a little brighter so that's the fun part about gouache um, which is why I enjoy playing around with it a lot I hope you had fun uh, watching this video do recreate it and you can follow me on Instagram and on YouTube for more tutorials thank you